While cruisers are operating at reduced capacity, you've got the opportunity to get some pretty amazing cabins for the same price that you might pay for a regular old veranda. You may have seen one of our other cabin videos, but we're still in the new Staten Dom and we have a new cabin. We have a little bit of an upgrade, which we're kind of excited about. We want to show you this room because the layout really is different than most of the balcony cabins you've seen, although it's still in the same category as a veranda. This is not considered a suite. So the first thing you'll notice when you come in the door is you have a long room that's wide as opposed to a long room going out to your deck. So as I walk in the front door, I have a cabinetry on my right and I have my magnetic wall on the left. I've shown you before, we use the hooks to make sure that that's kind of where we keep clothes we're using every day. Over here, we keep the craft supplies, hobby supplies, etc. in this cabinetry area right here. There is still a a nice floor space right here for bags and clothing etc but also a nightstand and then we have the large bed as we move down the cabin this way because again we're going long this way it's all of the same cabinetry you would have in a regular balcony cabin so we still have the safe and an extra cupboard we still have our refrigerator which we stock ourselves we ask them to take out the the mini bar that they have in there and then we have drawers for our clothing and you still have your closet space one of the differences and this sort of explains why this room is the way it is this is a handicap accessible room and that's why you have more space around the bed and around the furniture and you'll find that to be very true in this closet it has a handicap accessible closet rack that you can actually pull down and pull back up so that if you were wheelchair bound you would be able to pull down your clothing and still reach it the bathroom now is a com it's the same bathroom but it's a completely different layout so bathroom is here you do still have that issue of the bathroom door conflicting with the closet door so if you've got two people and one's in the closet and one's in the bathroom that might be a little bit of a conflict but the bathroom layout once you're inside is exactly the same probably the big difference here is that you've got the desk or vanity and mirror over here in this part of the room exactly opposite the bed so usually your room is catty wumpus to this and you have the bed and then next to it you have the couch and then you have the vanity in front of the couch well completely different layout we really like this their chair here is perfectly situated to sit and watch TV so it's a great layout for TV if you're in a chair so speaking of TV, the TV is a little different. It still is in its little kind of built in in the wall, but it now comes out and it pivots so that you can watch it in bed or it pivots this way because there's a couch over here and it pivots so that you can watch the TV from the couch. So a great feature, but you do have to be careful that if the TV is out, it's really hard to access the other side of the bed. Have you noticed the amount of light in this room? You have a full-sized window as well as a full-sized balcony door uh, with a side window as well. Lots of natural light in this room. We love, especially on this particular trip where we're in the land of the midnight sun, that window we keep open all night long. It's light all night long and we just see great views as we're cruising. You have the same size bed as you have in any other room, so that's no different. It can be separated into two twin beds. So if you're traveling with another companion, that works just fine. For us, obviously we have them together and we both have our nightstands with our bedside lamps and the little snake lamps for reading. This is where we now have the couch. So there's a little nook back here right by the balcony, which is really nice. Again, I showed you how the TV will ratchet out so that you can watch TV from the nook. Just a really great seating place, comfortable, cozy. And again, we have another magnetic wall over here so we can do more clothing if we need to. And this, this is the magic. 
this balcony is two, maybe three times the size of our regular balcony. So not only is it longer, but it's much, much deeper. So I actually have yoga mats that I put out here and I do my stretch and yoga out on the balcony. They put an extra chair out here. We didn't even ask for this, but we love having it. And this is where we do our meditation, but our views from this balcony are amazing. It's private, both sides are, are walled, so although we have neighbors, you never know it. And this is why this cabin is such an upgrade for us. The balcony makes it. So because this balcony is fully covered over us, but also out to the edge, we are protected from the rain and we're in an area of the world where we're getting a lot of rain and we are still out here not getting wet at all. So this is where we can sit in any kind of weather and watch this amazing world go by. to find clever tips on how to organize your cabin so that you can stay in a small space for a long period of time. Hi, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Jennifer. And you're watching A Well-Traveled well Life. Where we will do cool projects around the house. And travel the world. Here's to the journey.